Hello everybody and welcome back to the mod lock. We are jumping in again for another run and this time we're going to go as the deleted. We're going to do Happy 99 again. I think basically we've all sort of come to the consensus that you kind of have to play Happy 99 because everything else is either a bit cheesy or I don't know. Great hit off the bat. It's a bit cheesy or I don't know. It's just like not quite. Oh my lord. Not quite in the spirit of things. So I'm really hoping that I get HP from this guy because so far I've been hit twice um, it's always a bit hard when you get a boss right off the bat, but it's really bad when you get hit all the time. So yeah, I'm definitely taking the HP, because I feel like I need it. One second. I just had an absolutely ginormous sneeze. And another one. The start of this episode is in shambles. I didn't even get to have the second sneeze. It felt like it was coming, and it never did. But yeah, very happy to get health off the bat here. But yes, happy 99 to start. I think this is just the classic murders this guy. Basically, everyone in the Nuzlocke is playing as this version. There is um, the version, I think it's called I Love You, which is basically no negative effects on items, which I, like, obviously would lead to more wins and less chance of dying, but that's, like, not... I feel like that's not in the spirit of things with this guy, so... I'm not taking that route. Other people that are competing have, like, every right to, I think. I don't think it's banned, but I'm still not going to go that go that route myself. Anyways, for the question of the day today, where are you going next? What is the next thing for you? Is it, like, going to college? Is it finishing school? Is it your exams? I know that exams are probably passed by now for a lot of you. Like, is it some sort of personal goal? Is it a work-related goal? What's, what's sort of next for you? What's up next? Um, upon taking damage, uh, ooh... I think we have to take that just because, for one, like, being able to get hearts back is really good, but I'm pretty sure that that's, like, infinite plays on, like, blood donation machines and stuff if you've got enough speed to catch the heart. So, I feel like even though Bitflip is something we should be trying to use whenever we can, that's pretty darn useful. Also, seeing, seeing as though we have a few poopy friends here, I thought we'd uh, grab those and keep them as a protective shell around us. I like it. They'll die pretty fast, I mean, that's pretty obvious, but they will act as a protective barrier for us for a short time. And that includes against him diving at us, because as you can see, they do briefly stop him in motion, which is really nice. But yeah, for me, I think personally, that was a sad hit there, and I didn't even get, oh my god, didn't even get the heart. Um, This guy is diving around like a scooting booter. Calm yourself down, fella. Calm yourself down. Uh, but for me, I think it's 10k on YouTube, like, per for a personal goal. Uh, because I'm getting really close to that. I'm getting really, really close to it. We hit 9k just the other day, and I am so happy and grateful for it. And 10k has always been a really huge goal for me on YouTube. So hitting that milestone is going to be awesome. Work-wise, uh, also, I'm just noticing we have two heart-related items off the bat. And honestly, I'm going to play it safe and take three regular old items off the bat. Just because I want to I wanna have a nice sort of safety curtain to play around with. Um, and then we can go elsewhere after that and try and uh, do some bit flipped items. We don't need to be bit flipping straight off the bat. It's not about that. It's about trying to live. We're going to try and go dark path this time around here. Uh, we could also try and get uh, both hush and uh, boss rush if we can manage it. That would be really, really nice. So we'll try for both of those. But yeah, we do want to be looking in here to see if there's a blood donation machine. Unfortunately not. There is you, which I think, yeah, does work. So unfortunately, we don't have the speed. So I'm not going to play that yet. But if you get it right, you can do some good stuff with that. But yeah, as you can see, clearly see, you kind of need the speed to make that work. Otherwise, you are going to miss quite a lot of the hearts if the bounce in the opposite direction because there's, there's really no way to predict where they're gonna go but yeah 10k has always been like my low sort of like i won't say low tier but like my first major major milestone of the channel and we're getting really close we are approximately two to three months off of that based on my current subscriber gain and so that's gonna be awesome and hopefully with some of the stuff that's coming up like fiend folio that it'll be even sooner than that we'll, we'll have to see obviously we don't know for, for sure but I'd be very, very happy if that was the case. That'd be really awesome. And yeah, just thank you all for the support. I'm glad that you guys are liking this uh, Nuzlocke at the minute as well. This is a fun little little bit of difference than what we normally do. Um, I think this is worthy of a bit flip here. Um, every 11 rooms, 2% chance to lose this. Each room get a temporary skid, skiddy tooth or whatever it's called. On heart spawn. Nah, that's not very good. Sorry, Butterbean. I'm not taking you. You were, you're a good item, and I honestly would have taken you if I hadn't a bit flipped you, because I actually think Butterbean isn't bad. But in that state, I'm not going to bother. In that state, I'm not going to bother. I will check out my shop here. 
Um, and I will grab this. Yeah. I would like to grab Humbling Bundle if it's plausible, but I doubt it's going to be. Yeah, so we'd, we've done pretty well as this guy so far. I got some good marks as him. I would definitely like to, like I said, do Dark Path and maybe do Boss Rush and stuff. But Boss Rush is kind of like a if we make it sort of deal. I'm. It's, it's always, Boss Rush is always going to be one of those marks that I go for late. Like, I'm not, if I can get it right off the bat, then of course I'll go for it. But very often, I don't think it's going to be one that we end up going for right off the bat. It's just not super feasible. Um, this is a rune that I will likely get hit on. So, say goodbye to Devil Deal. Or not. Wow. Okay, was not expecting that. I don't know why, but that, that having a bomb in the middle of this room scares me, regardless of the fact that I can just walk around everything. These enemies are always a little iffy for me, um, just because you can kind of push them around by accident. That is a fantastic trinket. Basically, we can get um, we can get red keys, uh, like crack keys, and open up red rooms by picking up pennies. It's incredible. Oh, damn it. We got a heart back at least. This is a very hard boss that I am willing to use some bombs on. I realize that I'm missing quite a lot of the bombs right now. But I feel like that's mostly fine. Basically, the problem with this guy isn't him himself. It's that, yeah, this whole shebang of him, like, shooting out a child at lightning speeds. And it's, it's very, very hard to avoid. So I'm, I'm basically playing it safe right now. If you can get them to hit each other rather than a wall, it's preferable. Because they don't spawn children when they hit each other. Uh, and I, I don't know if there's a specific limit to how many kids he can spawn. But it, there seems to be somewhat of a limit. So it's kind of good to leave some at the other side of a room if you can. Of course, we missed out on our devil deal. But honestly, on a boss like this, I ain't surprised. I really ain't. Okay, so we didn't get a heart drop from the boss kill, unfortunately, which I was really hoping for. This isn't a great item. Let's bit flip it. Upon going down to the next floor, I get Pisces times three. Um, on bit flip spawn a golden troll bomb. Um... Every kill, 3% chance to get. That's, it's not terrible, but Bitflip Golden Troll Bomb is a little iffy. I'm going to take it. I realize it's it's a very iffy thing to do, but you, one thing you've got to consider here is that Golden troll bombs aren't that bad, and we're only really going to be bit flipping in controlled environments and getting three times Pisces every time we go down to a floor essentially guarantees we get to max tiers pretty quick. And I I think it increases our tier size as well, doesn't it? I can never remember. Oh, God, that's a bad hit. I'm, I'm going to be losing my angel deals all over the place here, but honestly, I feel like they're not going to be as big of a concern. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I did, okay, so maybe I've made a mistake here. I didn't consider the fact that I lose all three of them on getting hit. I thought I'd lose them one at a time. Um, so maybe they're not quite as valuable as I thought they'd be, because now we've lost them all. Um, it's not, it's not, it's still not a terrible thing. We still got some speed up, which I like, and um, we still have a chance to get blank card. I can't remember what the uh, exact parameters for us getting blank card were, I'll be honest. I think it was, oh, there you go. I got blank card. It's here. So, I don't know if we just keep blank card now, but very happy to have it. And it's just it's regular old blank card as well, which is pretty awesome. Uh, of course, blank card we can make all sorts of plays with, so very happy to have that. Also, picked up a nickel and opened up every single red room in this entire room, if you can, if you can believe that. We don't have great speed here, so I'm going to play this safe. Extra bombs there. Yeah, for a single for a single nickel, we opened up every single red room attached to that one room. Can you believe it? Very nice. We got blank card now, so now we're really, really looking for a good card. We we have seen blank card be pretty pivotal in one of our other runs where we got the uh, the, the mirror card as well as the um I can't remember what it was called now the the unicorn reflect um reverse card. What the hell's that one called? I can't remember. But anyways, yeah, sadly, um, no red item, which is kind of fine. I was mostly expecting that, to be honest. You're like one hit away from death, so not too worried about you. And we are getting consumables out the wazoo here. 
So we really want to get as many coin drops as we possibly can. So if we can get anything like last time where we had that burst of coins that just kept coming up. Oh, I missed that red heart, unfortunately. Like I said, I really want speed ups so we can make um, hypercoagulation or whatever it's called. Is that, is that what it's called? Uh, a little more useful. Because it, it's really, really good right now, but it becomes a lot better. Oh, I lost a full red heart then, and it gave me a full red heart back. I didn't actually know that was the way that worked. Very good knowledge to know. But yeah, so at the minute, I'm playing relatively risky. Oh, because I thought I'd be able to get my hypercoagulation back. I missed it that time. So now we got to play a little safer because I've lost a bit too much health. One thing I can also do here, by the way, which obviously, okay, blank card now spawns on pedestals. That's actually really interesting. Uh, one thing I can do as well is I can um, spawn golden troll bombs on purpose to use for combat. Like, I realize it's probably not the best of ideas because basically every time I spawn one, I, I have to spawn another to flip back. But it's not a terrible idea. One moment. I'm back. Yeah, as, as, as I was saying, like, we always are going to spawn two of them, so it's a little risky, but I do think it's got some merit to it. There is definitely some scenarios in which I feel like as long as we're not in the room too long and as long as we know we can avoid it, a golden troll bomb ain't a bad thing for us to have. Nice, we got rid of that. It's really hard for me to do that. Now, really, what we need is uh, permanent tears and damage ups rather than temporary. The temporary ones are nice, but they don't really do too much for us. Right, see what we get here? Okay, so here we actually have the, the chance to reroll into something good. So we're going to do that and try and get something half decent here. Molten Dime, we have seen before as a very, very strong item. We're going to take it and then reroll this. But you give me a passive item, that'd be real nice. Do you know what? That's a passive item I quite like. I'll take it. Yeah, Molten Dime has some potential to be pretty insane. I don't know if it'll trigger hypercoagulation. It does. Okay, that's very, very important. We really want to stay away from Soul Hearts this run. Because I think we can do some good stuff with uh, Molten Dime here. Especially if we're going to be getting item pedestals such as blank cards spawning semi-regularly. I think that's going to be a pretty pivotal part of this run, potentially. But yeah, Molten Dime can lead to some broken runs. We've seen it happen before. Super excited for that. We're just going to everywhere we can here. I spent most of my money in that, uh, that room there, but that's fine. I'm actually so like not so worried about getting hit at the minute. I, but I, like I said, I really do want a speed up to facilitate a little bit running around after my hypercoagulations. I think that's going to be pretty darn important. But in the small rooms, it doesn't matter so much. But in bigger rooms, it becomes more of a problem. Okay, take you out. You spawned a red heart on the floor as well. Nice. Should check out this room too, to be honest. So, okay, so interestingly enough, with this is something we have to keep in mind. Blank card will always steal the active slot. That didn't work. Uh, blank card will always steal the active slot. So we are going to drop Molten Dime from time to time. We need to be aware of that and ready for that. I'm going to take this. Um, so Concussion doesn't really do much for us. I will take the Soul Heart, because why not? doesn't matter if I lose it, really. At this point, I'm pretty much accepting that I'll probably never get a Devil Deal or Angel Deal on this run. That's just kind of par for the course. That's just, it is what it is. We're just, we're struggle bossing a little bit here just because of our damage. Where, where did, um... Where did the Concussion item go, exactly? I missed that. When did it disappear? Did I Molten Dime it? I don't think I did. I'm confused. I am very confused as to where that went. Okay, good. These enemies are by far the most annoying because they can spawn other enemies. The Morton dies back again. <clears throat> Three fails in a row so far. Gotta say, Morton Dime, you're not you're not doing so hot right now. You're not doing so hot. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're really broken, so I'll allow it. But I'm not I'm not very happy with your performance so far. You're gonna have to speak to HR. You might get fired. We get one more fail in a row. Those odds are pretty pretty darn low of that happening, so I'm gonna class it as workplace abuse. 
There's going to be some harsh words said. I tell you that now. I think it spawned as a, as a thingy delay item that disappears. What we can do as well is we can go to our shop and try and duplicate our shop, which is normally pretty valuable. Okay, nice. All I wanted to do is open that up. I just want you to hurt yourself with your own bombs, my dude. That's all, that's all I've ever wanted. Also, there's a tinted rock over here. Did not see that earlier. We also found the secret room, coincidentally. Very nice. This guy just doesn't even want a lot of bomb bombs at us at the minute. Doesn't seem interested. Barely gives a care in the world. He just likes getting shot at. That's all he likes. Right, so check this out. Ooh, this is fantastic. So money here, of course, is real good. I very much like that. This is pretty nice itself. Okay, this is a room where we don't really want to use hypercoagulation because it's going to shoot things out over rocks and stuff. Actually, we've got soul heart anyway, so it doesn't matter. Grab that. So now if we have a hunch on where it might be, we can use it. So first things first, let's go check out our shop. I might come back and uh, Molten Dime on Mr. Boom here. I think that would be pretty good. But first of all, I want to check out the shop. Diplopia is interesting. Does Diplopia do much for us? Doesn't matter because it's gone. <laughs> Molten time, you've really gotta, you've really gotta, gotta stop being a dick. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it how it is. You need to stop being a dick, because it's getting me down. Like, god damn, that's a lot of fails in a row, Molten time. It's a lot. I like, I don't really mind losing the health. I'll be honest, I've got the health to spare. But come on now, this is a little silly. Was it? Did it full charge that then? Another fail. Another fail. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, uh, also, now, now hypercoagulation on a half heart with Maggie's bow heals us for one full heart, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, that's, uh, this is a lot of fails in a row right here. A lot of fails in a row. It's kind of saddening. We're probably not going to make boss rush with all the antics we're doing here. I'll be honest. We could also try and do delirium here, I guess. Um, cracked key. I'm gonna do here. Cracked. Didn't work out, unfortunately. <clears throat> right. I think we go back to the shop. And we hope that for one small and dime does something. Because it might. You never know, it might. We'll see. Crooked Penny, <laughs> it's rival. Blank card, hello. Okay, this time we got deep pockets, which is fantastic for us. I should have done one that had a battery, obviously, uh, but I can keep going and maybe get a battery. No, but I can get a card. It's a temperance, unfortunately. I will not be using that. Okay, I think we're out of juice on this floor pretty much. I think that's all she wrote. Deep Pockets was a good pickup. Maggie's Bow, a really good pickup. I'm not too displeased right now. There was meant to be a battery in this room, it's somehow gone. Okay, so this boss I feel is going to be pretty annoying. So I'm probably going to use quite a lot of bombs to kill him. Just because I feel like he's going to take forever. There you go. That'll do. He got me. And with a hypercoagulation as well. Okay, this is definitely a scenario in which we do this. We missed. Of course we missed. I can't believe how bad Molten Dime has been for us so far. It's, it's actually being terrible. <laughs> I'm losing out on so many items. 
We have so many opportunities to use it and it's just throwing them back in our face. I just have to check this. Okay, I didn't think hypercoagulation worked there, but I had to find out. But yeah, remember now we have a lot of tears up until we get hit. So try not to get hit. That's pretty good. In fact, I think we just pop that straight in here. Yep, there you go. We got one of these. A cracker tooth key. One good thing about having crack keys as well, it helps you find secret rooms. I, I can't believe. I can't believe that enemy didn't die there. We have such low damage. Like, I know a secret room's there because crack key wasn't proccing. And I left before the room finished too. Why? So dumb. <laughs> oh, I just saw the door open and immediately my brain was like, hmm, step through there, son. Do it. Anyhow. Let's keep going. HP is not looking great right now, but the fact that we have Maggie's bow makes me le like more confident that we'll be fine. Really don't like this situation at all. Also, where's any location that I can use a red, a cracked key? There you go. There's cracked. Really don't like these rooms with the just hundreds of enemies that take me forever to kill. Very frustrating. I could use hypercoagulation with Maggie's bow to like get myself to full health, but I don't have the speed to chase after it yet. I can't really do that. Like that look, like that just went miles away. Especially in a large room like this, but this this room is, is horrible for us. Absolutely horrible. It's taken us forever to kill anything. Soul heart there's rather nice. This is a bit upsetting. This room's gonna take forever. One of you's dead. Oh, God, you're going to take forever, aren't you? And you're probably going to end up hitting me at some point, which is going to be super sad. Okay. We're good. Right. Pop through here. Man. Man, I didn't even get the fucking red heart. Oh, God damn. This is frustrating. God damn. We're getting some really rough rooms as well for low damage. Like, I'm kind of having to use my bombs here. Damn it. And I keep missing hypercoagulation as well. Like, it's it should be so easy for me to grab them, and I keep missing it. Like, it's basically infinite health, and I keep missing it. I'm also surprised we just haven't had any red hearts drop yet. Like, that's a real surprise for me. Definitely getting hit here. Again, using bombs for combat. Not ideally the best situation, but needs must. God damn, drop me a single red heart as a room reward, please. It would be so good. And it would be so easy for you to do. But instead... Well done, game. Well fucking done. That's what we needed. A good old tears down. I can't believe we have this potentially insane combo and we just can't get it to work. Oh, really? Hypercoagulation that time fucking screwed me. All I need is a speed up and I'd be invincible. All I need is a speed up and I'd be invincible. But instead, instead, I'm sitting here with the tears down and Molten Dime is making me frown because I've used it around 18 times and it's only succeeded once at a 50% chance the odds of that happening is like one in a bajillion. No, it's not. It's like one in 300 and something or other, but it's, it's low. It's very low. <coughs> <coughs> 
<coughs> oh my god, I apologize for my coughing. But it finally happened. We got an item. Decap attack. It's gonna be it's gonna be an active, so I don't care about um bit flipping it. I don't want a bit flip active. I've got molten dime. So I'm just gonna keep using molten dime on it. And hoping for the best. But Muramycosis. First item we got that's actually gonna give us a bit of a DPS increase. It's it's wild, I know. A real a real crackpot theory to hear about the turtle melon. Having something that increases his damages. It's it's it may be it may be hard to fathom, but it has happened. We did get a tears down, which I think really really balances it out quite nicely, meaning we got basically a damage down followed by a damage up. So we're basically at exactly where we were before, re realistically, but hey ho. Let's pretend we're happy. Right, this guy is obviously uh, a guy we want to lace with bombs whenever possible. Molten dimes on the floor. I love the fact that that charges molten dime. Are you still alive, you little invisible buddy? You've lasted quite some time there, haven't you? Okay, this is yet another duplicating situation, if we can handle it. If not, let's go in here and, uh... Oh, oh my god. Don't want Guppy's head. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't care. Oh my lord! I can't believe it! He got a damage upgrade. It's incredible. Right. Um, I think I take Latch Key just because I like the Soul Heart Plus thingy, and then this I bit flip. Each boss you kill, you get a temporary. Every eleven hits, lose Latch Key. Um, every okay, that's pretty good, right? Yeah, that doesn't do much for us. Okay, down we go. <clears throat> So, it says on kill, get a temporary old bandage. I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> Let's try and keep our Pisces for a bit here. I don't know if that's plausible for us. Okay, we are getting quite a lot of old bandages. Um, I don't really know what having multiple old bandages does for us. It seems like nothing. I thought it might give us heart containers. It definitely doesn't. It might increase their chances of dropping... Red hearts on death, which would be pretty awesome. Okay, there, there goes them, sadly. It was bound to happen at some point. <clears throat> okay. Got a red heart there as well if we want it. Yeah, I think we just we have a potential for a good run. We've just not really got the good run going yet. Pentagram is definitely a step in the right direction. I'll damn well say that. And uh, getting Loki's horns a lot is nice. Cracked key. Cracked key. Good old cracked keys. See if we can get ourselves a red room anywhere. There you go, baby. There you go. And we get the mark. Awesome. Beautiful. Have an interesting room for us. Something that you can do, which is potentially kind of interesting. I'll see if I can get it to work. Okay, let's kill these guys first. Look at all the Loki Sultans we get. <laughs> right, if we come in here and then we pop this, you can get it to spawn other hearts. Obviously, it's not going to spawn other than that room particularly, because um, that room is like literally can only ever have red hearts in it. But the theory still stands that if there's other hearts, you can spawn soul hearts out of them. It's a pretty good tactic. That, that one of those enemies was just a Muramycosis piece. <laughs> Everything's gone again. All I want is red health now, really. I just want more and more red health so I can keep playing around with um, Molten Dime without losing too much HP. God's sake, game. It's okay, though. We've lost all our soul hearts now. We're back into the red health territory. <clears throat> But yeah, 
as I've been singing on and on, give me a single speed upgrade and things will be so much better for us. Okay. Taken care of. No thank you. Probably a hand. Oh, there was two hands. Okay. Fair. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't know why I didn't expect that. Come on, you scaly bob. Honestly, Deep Pockets is such a clutch pickup as well. There's three hands. This is way too many hands for this smaller room. Holy. Whoa. <clears throat> Monstro's lung. We got something. Which, honestly, honestly, not a great pickup. I'll be honest. Not a great pickup because we have terrible fire rate right now. Like, it's not awful, but because the damage is better, but like. God damn. Oh, ho, ho, beautiful. We are going to be slow here. Very, very slow. But this is going to be a fun run. Okay. Let's take care of this little baby. He's the one causing problems. But yeah, give us fire rate game. That would be super nice. Because right now we're struggling. Right now we are struggling. Okay. Interesting room here. I think we have to take Odd Mushroom. I think we have to take Placenta. And I think we just do that and hope for the best. Also, we can do this and hope we get... Oh, the open we get more red rooms opened. But yeah. Odd, skinny Odd Mushroom. I don't even know how much fire rate it gave us, but you can clearly see it's significantly better now. The issues of before are not quite... White is prominent. Still, our fire rate isn't good, but better. <laughs> and also, Placenta is really good here. And there you go. That's pretty good for us, too. Bomb through there. That would be awesome to grab, so I'm really hoping we can get it. We got it on our first try. That would also be equally very good to get. So we got it on our first try. And that I don't really care about, but I had to play just to see. Okay, so fire rate's now in a much, much better spot. <clears throat> Just remember that we that we um get two full hearts for a for a play on this. Uh for for a picking up a half heart. We get like two two half hearts, sorry. So this is less risky than normal. And we got the pact. Okay, we got Leviathan as well. This is this has suddenly become something quite beautiful. Um I'm gonna buy this. The sun card. Just pop it, why not? Whoopsie, didn't mean to do that. Okay, we have a run going, and we can be a bit more frivolous with deleting, with like, tainting items now, because we've actually got a good run together. So, for example, restock's not really worth it, so let's do it. Um, on the next floor, get... Golden Troll Bomb's a bit annoying. Just just go to the other side of the room, please. Thank you. Um, on hit 6 minute chance for a Fire Worm. On active use, use whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Which, this sounds bad, but I'm just going to leave it, because I, I, I genuinely have no idea what that is. So, I feel like taking a modded item that we don't know the effect of is a, probably a bad idea. I thought this was an XL floor. It's huge, but it's not. Okay. We haven't even been to our item room this floor, I don't think. God damn, we're at 32 minutes already. We've already missed Hush, and we're on Depths 1. 
character's wacky. Do love that. Eternal hearts are beautiful as well. Crack a few of those open. Duplicate that, see what we get. Another active, unfortunately. Here's our item room. It's a book, so I'll pick it up. But I don't care about it. And away we go. Right. Things are looking pretty beautiful. We have create. We've crafted a run that is something. It is not terrible. We've got some good items in there. We've not got anything crazy game breaking yet, but that's there's certainly more of that to come. Okay, so we'll definitely go in here and check what's got what's going on here. Um. I think we bit flip on here. On coin 2% chance to lose Molten Dime. I can't. <laughs> on 22 kills, some 4 healers. Um, oh, oh, hello. Wasn't expecting you there. We've already done Mega Satan, so this was a little bit of a waste of time, but... I'll say hello to you regardless. In fact, every 10 rooms use Pisces, 3% chance... Yes. Remove it now. <clears throat> and then I think we're good on that. And then just quickly check this out. Can you yeah, go, go over that side of the room. Um Each room get a luck upgrade, use two pills, every six rooms, five percent chance to use double yellow. Yeah, let's take that. Oh we got a paralysis right in front of the troll bomb. That was perfect. Right, go! We spawned two corn mines and going to the next floor now, so we have to be a little bit careful of that, but corn mines are pretty harmless. Probably only getting a red room here, I would imagine. Or not. Okay. No red rooms to be seen, but we did get this. Crack it of key. Um, uh, Molten Dime's here, okay. I was very confused for a second there where Molten Dime had gone. <clears throat> we got whatever this is. Mother's Spine. And we got Curse of the Tower by the looks of that there. What did I do here? Oh, I just teleported to the shop, that's fine. Mr. Me? Does Mr. Me open boss rush or hush? Let me go check. I don't think he does, but let me go check. <laughs> Mr. Me Isaac. Boss rush. Um. Oh, okay, there's a video over here. Let me just watch this one second. Let me pause. Ah, uh, damn. It can get you out of boss rush. It cannot get you in. Okay, good to know. But sadly, yeah. Doesn't doesn't do really what we wanted to do here. Empress. Yeah, doesn't quite do what we wanted to do here, unfortunately. But, <clears throat> good to know. Regardless. Yeah, I teleported myself out of that room over there. Not really know what, was, what the hell was going on. I think this is Gideon. Yeah, Gideon's Gaze is really good. Uh, can spawn black hearts um, every time there's a one of those grimaces things, and it also destroys them, which makes some rooms significantly easier. Try and make our way back to the rooms that we were already at, because there was some stuff to duplicate over there. An item to grab, but I accidentally used my goddamn card. So it's a little bit of a long trip back. But this has been a really fun deleted run so far. Maybe not as glitchy and crazy as some of the other people are going for. I like this look. All of those are gone. One of us gave one of them gave us a black heart. We could go for the beast here as well, but I think Dark Path is is more more the way to go because we can get delirium via that path. And I think this run can do delirium potentially. By the time we get there at least. 
That is tall and fur. Oh, yeah. Sadly, that doesn't give us fire rate anymore. Okay. Good to know that we're not getting fire rate upgrades anymore. Okay. We're almost back. Do not like this. Ooh. We've got good speed now as well, so hypercoagulation is going to be better. But at the minute, it's not too relevant because we have a lot of soul hearts. But when it becomes relevant again, I had to sneeze again. Apologies. <laughs> it just sneaks up on you. It really do. I love Monstro as long as an item. So fun. Why do things keep getting dark all of a sudden? What's with that? Oh, these, all these items are gone. Oh, wait, no, were they in here? They were in here. Bit flipping doesn't tell us anything, unfortunately. Okay, we'll have to leave that as is. I thought bit flip would give us some information for some reason. It doesn't. Oh, Molten Dime's here. I didn't realize. It's all gone. Yeah, we got enough red hearts to get us through now with hypercoagulation. And enough speed to mostly capture every heart. Apart from in large rooms. In large rooms, it's 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 crazy. It goes, it just launches. Oh, we, we lost Molten Dime again. God damn it, that's so frustrating that I keep missing when I lose it. Where the hell is it? Broken shell. Nice. It's nice that I can potentially get some extra stuff like that. But it is annoying when I don't notice that it's gone. <laughs> Quickly just do that. Pop in there. And then grab all that. Boom. <laughs> all the old bandages we get. It's so crazy. Hey, Tainted Treasure Room. Wasn't expecting that. We got Tainted Analog Stick, which I, I have no idea what it does, but I'm going to take it. Oh, it's D-pad. It's D-pad. I see. Wait, D-pad normally shows up in regular item pools. That's a bit strange. I don't know. Maybe it was not some, not meant to be showing up in regular item pools. But I'll certainly take it. I don't really mind losing um, analog stick, especially considering I'm pretty sure we had an effect that gives us a chance to lose it. So not a big loss, I guess. We might have lost it anyways. Do you remember we have some troll bombs right now? Uh, sorry, not troll bombs. Giga bombs. So we can use those for a boss if need be, or try and save them for later on. I'd rather try and save them, but I'll probably end up forgetting and using them and being incredibly surprised when I drop a Gigabomb on the floor. That, 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 that tends to be what happens. But we're through here now. Okay, this should be you dead. We're good. Uh, Molten Dime got dropped again. So we're taking the dark path this time. Didn't get it. Okay, down we go. Look at our fucking item tracker. It's just like, look at hards! Look at hards! Look at hards! So many fucking look at hards! Um, we're not exactly um, doing a speed run here, so I will take these extra rooms. You, already, already I forgot and opened up that chest. Already I forgot. I told you it happened. With 3.26 uh, look, Lucky's Horns is actually proccing a good amount. Is it only 5 luck you need for a 100% chance? I know it's low. It's not 10. Sadly, no red room. Moving forward. Take care of you. Luckily, this time we don't have any curses either that are going to screw us over. Cracked key. Cracked key. There we go. Beautiful. I forgot we we're going to get pinking shears every now and again as well. Knockout drops? Actually, knockout drops is a lot of fun. I'll just take that. There's Molten Dime. On the floor again. Sadly, it destroyed that. Chest and a chest. I love it. Ah, I did the red room noise, but there was no red rooms available to open. That's always a little bit upsetting. Happens from time to time, though. But yeah, I really like the knockout drops with uh, Monstro's Lungs. You just fire out this 
absolute sh just craziness of fists that not only does good damage and knocks things back, but looks really cool too. I mostly take it for the looks. Hey, Fallen, hello. What you doing in the corner there, boy? Guppy's collar is kind of whatever for us. I'll just take that. I think that's really good. Again, I did this. Whoopsie. Oh, we don't already have a knife piece. I, th I think I, I think I tainted one of them. Tried to duplicate it for something better. Didn't get it. Oh, I'll go and get that secret room real quick. It could be an item. I think. I oh, for used all my giga bombs already. I keep forgetting. God damn it. What on earth just happened? Um, that's problematic. I got hit and this happened. That's... What... What did I take that causes that? Because that's a very huge problem for us. <laughs> What did I take that causes that? That's a really big issue for us. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. What did... What was it that I took that did that? Is that like going to happen every time? That's real. That's really bad. <laughs> that is really, really bad. If, if that happens every time, we are in for a... We're in for a really hard time. Because that... Yeah, that was unpleasant to, to have to witness there. I, I kind of need to test it out. Oh, we, uh, small rock. Uh, definitely take that. Did lose some speed for that though, which probably isn't actually the best idea. Yeah, I kind of need to test out if that's going to happen every time. I also don't want to test it because I might die. Right, let's test it. Okay, no, that doesn't happen every time. Strange, because I don't know what caused that now. Hypercoagulation, can you stop being a dick, please? Also, Molten Dime does do full heart damage. Good to know. Flip. Flip's pretty good. Flip's pretty good. Right, let's chill out for a minute. Let's go do that arcade, actually. Need some health pretty badly. Hate yeah, this room so much. Thank God I've got flight. It makes it a lot easier. Look at look at the ridiculous amount of hands this room drops on you. <clears throat> right. I think I want to. I think I want to try molten dime flip because flip's good, but I'm, I want to keep molten dime. And it's like I could get more secret room items via doing that. We're just chilling over there, are you? Didn't get it. Sad times. It's fine. We weren't going to take it anyways. Oh, hello. We got Gello for some reason. Molten Dime's back again. Basically, I've kind of learned that if I want to duplicate something, sit in a corner. And then the heart kind of bounces into the wall a lot of the time. And you can grab it really easily. If you have the option to, like, choose, then do that. We got a webbed heart there. Thank you. Don't know what webbed hearts do for us outside of their normal characters. Okay, so it's definitely a secret room thing, because I, I don't know if you witnessed it happen there. Oh, cancer? Wait, is that... Okay, that isn't a one fire rate up. I won't take it then. We got actual red key.
Hmm, we might need to go for some more charges on this floor because we just got actual red key so we can do, do some more duping there. We can get a few more charges here. Unfortunately, some of them are quite far away, but time is time is nothing to us anymore. Oh, there you go. We got we got got a charge here. Look, there you go. Okay. Both of those are pretty good. How much does this give us? Not tons. It's good, but it's not great. Uh, okay, we can get one more charge over here. Let's go do it. I feel like that room could be pretty important for getting us some good stuff. We also just got two heart, extra heart containers for having a lot of money, which I really like. Because heart containers for us are very important with hypercoagulation. They're what's going to keep us alive. I'm still very scared of what happened in that one secret room. If that, if that returns, if that's going to happen more and more, that's going to be not very good. I did also take Greed's, uh, Greed's Eye, which is, I don't know. Ooh, Cat and Nine Tails, yes please. Maybe not a great idea, but I'm basically I'm expecting it's going to turn more things into gold and give us more back than we end up spending. I hope. And basically doing this here, where it just opens a bunch of red rooms. Good, so Molten Time's done. We've got more rooms to go at. Go back again. It's going to be a lot of back and forth here. Well, it, 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 I say that. It depends. If we end up getting the uh, payout right here. Uh, if we, Sorry, if we end up failing right here with Molten Time. And we don't need to go back and forward. Also, a shortcut. Okay, so that happened again. Are we going to die? Hypercoagulation isn't really saving me. We're probably going to die. I think we're dead. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. Yeah, we died. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> well, that's the deleted gun. It was, like, bound to happen at some point. If someone could spot the, um... Someone could spot the moment where, uh... I got that effect... Please let me know, because I have no idea. But yeah. Just no idea what causes that. And the fact that, you, like, the door shuts too, it's like, no, 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 you have to kill all of these. It seems to actually trigger as well, um, and, and duplicate everything. Anyways, that's me being greedy. It was, it was what it was. I thought hypercoagulation could maybe save us in that room, but I just couldn't see the heart. It was what it was. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.